What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. We got another uh, unboxing here. Today we're gonna look at the Ravel 124 scale VW T2 bus, the Easy Click system. 109 parts, level two, um, Easy Click. All that really means is that it's been engineered so that it fits really, really well. Never disparage the the snap kits. They can be made to look just as cool as anything else. So with a little bit of work, a little bit of uh, attention to detail and paint, they can come out pretty nice. So we're going to crack into this one, and this is going to be my next build. Um, I'm going to paint it in the same yellow I've been using for the last Porsches that I just built. I'll make it part of the race team. Um, I'm planning to put, like... You know, put a bunch of stuff inside, put like some, put a laptop, some fuel cans, some tires and tools and whatnot. Make it, uh, you know, make it the support band that comes along on the races. So, without any more a doing, let's a do and get into it. There's that beautiful body. Let's go ahead and get all the parts out and then we'll open the bags and go through them. We'll start with the body and the manual. And right away, I can see it uh, looks nice. It's got some nice panel lines, good details throughout. The um, Apparently, this one has opening doors. You can open the side door, the front doors, the rear hatch, the engine bay, and there's a separate rooftop, so making it a two-tone will be even easier. So, it looks good. It's a new mold, so it should be, uh, should be a pleasure to build. And we'll look at the manual here that's all full color. Shows you, um, you know, painting options. You could paint it if you wanted to. I mean, you could not paint it, I should say. You know, the trees come in various different colors. There's uh, silver, there's a black, there's a gray. So you could technically just build it the way it is and have a, you know, have a cool looking model. But of course, I'm not going to. This is gonna be another part of the race team that I've been working on. But you can see, you know, everything's got just like the normal Revell full color manuals. Everything's got call outs for what colors to paint things if you were going to paint. You know, like the red and orange on the clears and where to put the decals. So with that, we'll get into the decals. There's two different sheets here. There's water slides and stickers. Two complete different sets. So look at the stickers first, which are cool because, you know, I'll be putting those elsewhere, other places. That's pretty bitchin'. Nice, uh, they've got a nice gloss to them. Like those instrument clusters, those could easily be applied to another build. It's got a little radio. Neat. And then the water slides <clears throat> have just a little bit more detail in that there's the, um, the, the white walls for the tires and the instrument clusters are a little bit smaller. Maybe a little bit more detail in those. I don't know. But there's, you know, stickers to put on engine components and stuff, like the coil and things. So, as usual, those look really nice. But we'll uh, set that aside here and jump into these bags. We'll go to the body, body top first. I don't know if I'll need this or not. My new cutter. Yeah, it's just taped on there. Safety first. So I usually like to pull that tape down or off or something so that it doesn't bug my OCD. Squirrel. See a little bit of ripples. Uh, not ripples, but variations from the I'm not sure what that's from from the pressure when they put them in the mold or what I'm not sure but hopefully primer will cover that there's that big solid roof 
I'm going to talk about. So you could easily paint that a different color and just plop it on there and bam, two-tone. I'm going to be doing that, but I'm going to go a little bit further and make these bottom half um, the, the secondary color as well. But then you can see there's the, um, the doors, the hatch that have hinges. There's clearly hinges and hinge locations. So those doors will open and close pretty easily. Pretty stoked about that. Because again, like I said, this is going to be part of the race team. So I'm going to put a bunch of stuff inside of there. You know, open the door and you can see a little laptop for tuning the, tuning the cars and tools and tires and helmets and stuff. So sadly, it looks like we're not going to need this today. Well, I don't know. You never know. Be prepared. <laughs> uh, oops, loose parts. So, like I said, you can see the uh, it's been molded in color so that you could just assemble this thing the way it is. All the pinholes for where you know things uh, attach to really easily. Make sure not to lose that. Uh, the seats, no texture on those, so. You know, if you wanted to model them, model, um, that's, that's a fancy word for smashing with a brush. You want to paint them with a color and then model them, get some texture. That would be easy enough to do. And the undercarriage parts, the chassis has some good, decent details. Those will all paint up nice. You know, you can paint um, like the the shocks different color and then the engine top, it looks like. A little disappointed in that the motor didn't have more details to it, but that's fine, you know. It's, a, it, I mean, call it a curbside, whatever. Nice crisp parts. Everything looks really good. I don't see any flash or anything anywhere. It looks really nice. Uh, posable steering so you can turn it turn it park it park the wheels cock just playing playing three card money with the parts here uh, let's get into the motor motor and wheels I think it's in this bag Neo Revelle Germany packages their stuff somebody actually handled that by hand it wasn't a machine going through a shrink wrapper Love to see the factory. And the wheels. I don't know if that'll pick that up or not. That's a neat little look to it, like a almost like those are brake rotors, or I'm not sure. It's just a design, I guess. I don't, I don't I don't know, I'm not sure. And then the engine bottom, you know, not a whole lot to look at there, but you know, once you turn it over and look at it like that, eh, whatever, not too worried about it. A little bit of color here and there it'll it'll make it look nice and then it has the option for the spare tire for the front which I will definitely be using again this is the idea is this is a support vehicle race support and then speaking of supports those are the seat stands that's what those are what all the seats sit on the other I can't get it open. Whatever will I do? Boy, that thing is really dull. <laughs> just, I, I got that at a novelty shop. I'm surprised it actually works. I'll, pr I'll probably open it one of these days and it's going to fly off of there. It's it's pretty cheap. No doubt made in uh, not here. So the bumpers, you know, it's got a nice, um, the, the like the bolts that hold it on. Nice prominent detail. Push the license plate right in there. Again, painted. You could just attach those and you've got white bumpers. Uh, let's see. If I had to guess, that would be what goes behind the the uh, front seats. I don't know. I'm sure it will all make sense once I start to put this thing together. And this is the next build. So I'm going to publish this 
what's in the box and then I'll work on a segment of the build video to keep it from being too long. Glass looks really good. Looks really clear. No scratches or weird ripples or anything. Ripple, I guess that's maybe the word I was looking for. I don't know, like I had the camera probably won't pick that up, but there's like a weird discoloration there and there. I'm really hoping that some primer will cover that. Some surface preparation. You don't feel anything, but you can just see a difference. So, headlights, markers, taillights. I'm gonna put these back in the bag to keep them from scratching. Lots of windows in this thing which means lots of room for stickers. And then the last bag here, uh, always cut towards your friend. Disclaimer, do not cut towards your friend. Don't do what I do, I'm an idiot. Five tires, count them five. Nice rubbery feel to them. Like no names, but it's got a nice tread pattern to it. And then, you know, there's five, so that, like I said earlier, you can put the spare on the front, which I'll definitely be doing. Probably throw a jack in there and all kinds of neat stuff, you know, race. I mean, I was thinking of maybe going this way, but nah. Nah, not going to do it. Not going to do it. And that about does it for the Revell Easy Click T1. Volkswagen, oh wait, nope, oh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> How many times have I done that? But wait, there's more. Wow, that is really actually pretty dull. It's not very good of a cutter. More of a sticker. Hold still, hope you're a bleeder. <laughs> oh yeah, beautiful chrome, nice and shiny. With that bitchin' logo. Huh, I wonder if I can put that on the front of the spare tire or not. Boy, it'd be kind of a shame not to use that. But the dog dishes, the hubcaps, have a nice VW logo in there. Uh, black wash will pull that out to look great. Big old rear view mirror. Some side mirrors. Looks good. Looks real good. So, looking forward to building this one. I wanted to pump this out real quick to get it uh, published so that I can start to build. Going with this awesome camel yellow like I did with the Porsches. I'll put a picture up here if anybody has forgotten. Reet, reet, reet. That about does it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that. And we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, tonight, Monday Night Mayhem, we're going to mess with maybe some tubbing and maybe some of that uh that the truck thing and i don't know we'll, we'll see what we do we're gonna cut into something and glue something and we'll see how it goes but that's tonight seven o'clock pacific standard time from monday night mayhem hope to see you there